And then look at this Tiger Oak sewing machine cabinet. So it'll be a very interesting outing to say the least. That's a very large piece of pottery. Oh, oh yeah. Let's look what's hiding under here. Oh, these big, beautiful sunflower plates. Oh, little elephant with a little broken trunk. Okay, so if trunk up is good luck and trunk down is known to be bad luck, what's broken trunk? I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. The last time I was at this Salvation Army, I swore I was gonna get back here soon and it's been months. So it's gonna be a complete new shopping experience, I'm sure, but still the same great clean store because I am looking in the window and it's such a nice organized store. So I'm really excited to be back here and see what goodies I can find for resale. So let's get in there. Let's get shop done. All right, here we go. Oh, let's see, color tag of the week is green. All right, we will take a lucky cart. We have two choices. We'll take this one. And we'll hit this little section over here first where they, looks like they like to merchandise and put some fun things like, oh, these little safari frames. I like these, $2.99. They are a little scratched up though. That's definitely not something we can do on something that already is not very high end. Again, this has broken pieces in it. All right, I'm gonna skim through the purses because I am doing an accessory sale with Dawn of Hudson Vintage over on the Knit Shopping Network. That's on Friday. Friday the, oh gosh, here we go with the dates again. Is that the 9th? I think it's the 9th. Friday the 9th of February. Depending when you're watching this, I can't just say Friday because if you're watching, you know, a week from now, it's not gonna be Friday. But we always do some kind of a sale. Um, we're, we're shooting for Fridays. Wednesdays and Fridays seems to be our standard days and then we're gonna start adding more in there as well. And we always like to theme them, hence the Niche Shopping Network. And Mickey, no, Multisack. I thought that said Mickey Sack. Um, yeah, so this week is accessories, which is gonna be scarves, a little bit of jewelry, some purses, hats, who knows what is gonna show up in the accessory category. I did just pick up uh, some really nice coach purses that didn't show up in a video. So I can tell you for sure, I have a couple of those coming up. Let's see, this is their bigger stuff. I always look through here because they may have put a nice vase or something out on a table for display and I don't wanna miss it because I wasn't interested in buying big furniture. But I don't see anything over here today. I absolutely love when stores do like a slat wall and have the art hung up because you really kind of get the perspective of what the art looks like up on the wall. And I stand back and go, what's pulling me? Like this purple one right here, I don't think it's anything high end, but boy, that's like, that's got a really nice look to it. That's like nice. Somebody I think was into kind of having the purple accent in their home or office as it may be. I'm not seeing anything here that's really grabbing me as far as purchasing. There's some more, I bet that came out of the same, same house as the other purples. So, we'll keep moving. And again, another little section. Oh, look at these little 1940s is where I'm gonna kind of place these tables. Look, they've got the leather tops. $7.99, $7.99 each. How many of us grew up with this? Is, I mean, I think this is why it pulls me. This is my childhood right here. Is this kind of early American style in the maple? We didn't have the leather top, but we had the maple. Who else, who else remembers this style? And then look at this tiger oak sewing machine cabinet. 
Let's see if the sewing machine is in there. <gasps> oh, it is. Look, 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 look. It's in there. It's a new home. The old cast iron sewing machine in its original cabinet. Oh my goodness. They have $200 on that. That is an absolutely fabulous piece. It's got it's got the pedal and everything down here. This this is amazing. Such a piece of history right there. Okay, definitely a purple house was donated. We have to be sure we do not miss the end caps. They have an end cap at every aisle in this store. Is this kind of that fake goofus glass? Yes, it is. I say fake because goofus glass, as we know it, is from a long, long time ago. And now there's like this new version of it where they put the metal on the back of the glass and make it look all fancy schmancy. It just doesn't sell very well. So here is their tableware pricing. $1.99 each by two to four, $1.49 each by five or more. You can save a buck a piece by buying five or more. Wow. So the goal would then be don't find just one mug, find five. That could be a challenge. That could be a challenge. But I'm even okay at $1.99 if it's a really good mug, but I don't, I don't see anything here. Let's see, glassware I think falls under the same category of pricing. I, yeah, it's all their glassware. Mm. That'd work really good if you found a set, but I don't see anything we need today. That's a really, really, really pretty. Could be a candle holder. Oh, oh that was almost bad. That is just, okay, it's glued. I saw after the fact that this was a bowl stuck to a glass and I thought I was almost going to have a travesty there. Wow. <laughs> I escaped something really bad happening. Something very embarrassing happening. Okay. True confession time. Who has had something like that happen while you've been shopping? Have you ever broken anything where they had to call for a cleanup? Who's going to admit it? We've got some plates and bowls and dishes. Not a whole lot of excitement there. Hmm. Looks like a little Ray Dunn plate. Nope, kitchen works. See, people even copying Ray Dunn. Can you just imagine? When Ray Dunn was coming out with the idea of all the word plates and dishes and all that, if they had gone on Shark Tank and pitched the idea and, you know, Mr. Wonderful or one of the other ones had said, what's going to keep somebody from copying your idea? Can you see it now? Can you see where they got copied really bad and now their stuff really isn't worth a whole bunch? Okay, I'm optimistic that this will be a fun experience. Now the Goodwill bins here in Las Vegas do not allow us to film in there. So I'm going to go check out the Salvation Army outlet store very soon. We shall see, we shall see what ends up there. I think there's probably at least 10 Salvation Armies here in Las Vegas. So I would imagine that their outlet store is a culmination of all of the goods from all of those stores that probably didn't sell, overstock of donations, depending on which store it is, all of that. So it'll be a very interesting outing to say the least. These look like, well, they're plastic. Um, I was gonna say these look like a very Ikea kind of vase, but those are plastic. So not quite Ikea quality either, but this I like. Ooh, that is a signed piece. The signature looks a little better than just a hobbyist piece, but the price tag has been knocked off of this. So I'm gonna put this in the cart and see how much they will price this at. Oh, look, a friend separated. There you go. Okay, small art and frames. Let's see if there's anything super special here. A lenticular lion. Ooh, did you see him? Let's see. 
See if he moves on camera. Oh, he does. A little bit. <laughs> okay, that was fun. These look like cloisonne. $3.99 each. Now, these are not supposed to sit in those. I think it's supposed to go the other way and it's supposed to be a little pedestal. But for $3.99 each, I absolutely love that color green. I'm going to pick those up. This is a little vintage strawberry sugar jar. It has a very, very sweet look to it. I think that will sell. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's a very large piece of pottery. Would make a great planner. It says Judy Smith 1989. And it's $9.99. I don't really relish the thought of shipping this, but I'm also back to listing on cherish.com. That's C H A I R I S H. Please don't spell it wrong if you go to look for it. Uh, and they have a service on Cherish where some items you can just select to drop them off at a UPS store, and UPS will package them up and you just give them the label and everything. So this is a piece, I think, that would work really well on Cherish, and it's beautiful, and I'm going to pick it up for, how much was it? $9.99? I'm okay with that. That's definitely a $30 plus piece of pottery. Or maybe I will just ship it myself, because I can. All these little brand new salt and pepper overstocks. This is a sweet piece of clear glass. We take that lid off. It's $3.99. Just a really nice, simple pattern. I don't know what the pattern is. Just looking at it right offhand, I'd have to do a little research. Um, but it's nice. Is it, you know, really easy to resell this stuff? No, no, it's not. And for that reason, I'll leave it. But I am a great admirer of even the clear glass like this is Candlewick, Imperial Candlewick. Used to be this stuff was so, so expensive. I don't know where it's sitting on the market these days. I stopped picking it up. Again, it's not the easiest thing in the world to ship. It takes a lot of materials and time. So I am tending to veer away from those items. But again, it does kind of pain my heart when I see it in the thrift stores because I don't want it to end up in the landfill. I really, really don't. Let's see what this is here. Kind of caught my eye. A little floral pattern there. Special place. They're $5.99 each. Ooh, it's got daisies on it. But see now this piece compared to that piece of pottery I picked up, this does not have enough resale value to warrant uh, the amount of shipping it will take or listing it on Cherish, if Cherish would even take it, because Cherish doesn't accept everything. Uh, so that would be the, the deterrence for me picking up something like this, as cute as it is. Let's look what's hiding under here. Ooh, these big, beautiful sunflower plates. They are big and heavy. And as much as I love them, again, I just really don't want to have to come up with boxes for those. This is an interesting set of dishes. Let's see if we can find one that the mark isn't... Oh, they're Homer Laughlin. There we go. Homer Laughlin. This is Homer Laughlin lead free. And I don't think... Let's see. I don't think the pattern is on here. It's not... So I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to look when I get home what that pattern is, but there's quite a bit of it here actually. And then there's some little amethyst glass drinkware down there. Okay, cookware. Cookware, cookware. Ooh, that's a, an older piece. Now this isn't like, um, first thing I thought of when I saw the colors was Blendo. It's not Blendo. This is actually textured. I don't know. If you can see that but some of the gold is wearing off this is known as an iced tea pitcher so it catches the ice as you're pouring the liquid out so when you see a pitcher with that kind of a lip it's an iced tea pitcher 
just imagine how popular just sitting on a porch drinking iced tea was back in the day. You know, now everybody wants to be in front of their computers and typing on social media. In contrast, see this picture? This is not for iced tea. This is more for water or possibly even milk. That's an interesting little piece there. It's got some chipping and damage, otherwise I'd pick it up. Just because it's got a nice color and a nice design, but I'm going to leave it because of the chip. Almost as chipped as my nails right now. You are my best friend. Happy friendship. That's really cute. I don't know how you wind that. I think maybe like that. And then this is supposed to go? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Are you vintage? Nope. I mean, you might be, but not vintage enough to have the value to pick up. Oh, little elephant with a little broken trunk. Okay, so if trunk up is good luck and trunk down is known to be bad luck, what's broken trunk? This little guy is old. 1960s, I do believe. Oh, he's chipped. Little chipped choir boy. You must stay there. Hmm. Bob's Furniture Care Kit. Your new furniture investment is well protected. Hmm. Wonder what's in Bob's Furniture Care Kit. Fun little stuff. Oh, look at the little ghost. Little ghost dish down there. We're a little too far from ghosty stuff. Oh, elite trays. I have sold quite a few of these. $1.99, $1.99. I will pick those up. Now, they aren't like a super huge profit on those, but I know they sell quickly and I've sold a lot of them. So I kind of go with a history on that. That's a really cool bell, but they do want $10. That's a nice sound too. All right, let's see what else is in this little section here. What are you? Oh, you're an angel. You're an, I don't know why I was seeing a turkey. I never mind. Sometimes my brain just works that way. Pottery ball? Just a pottery ball. That looks like a little terracotta angel made in Mexico. Unfortunately, she has uh, had a little had a little uh, problem with her neck there. So we won't be taking her home. Golden Knights ornament. Owl. Nothing real super exciting here so far. Let's see. What else we've got here? We've got a gnome with a cute little nose. There's a fish. Is it a fish? What are you? Oh, you know what? He's, there we go. Oh, is he, he's missing a leg. Okay, it's a cup that sits like this, but he's missing a leg. I can figure these things out. And let's see what else is mixed into this little mishmash section. What is that? All right. Oh, it's to put in your car window and it's doggies. It looks like it's doggies it's sitting in the car. You know what? How much is that? I might need that. Summer's coming. Summer's coming. All right. I'm getting this for me. And then there were butterfly wings. Actually, actually it's kind of, it's kind of cool. I mean, I do need a Halloween costume at some point. Butterfly poncho. It's a pullover poncho with printed pattern. Hmm. How much are you? It's only two bucks. Okay. I'm going to be silly and I'm going to get that. Look at these cups. Those have seen some better days. I don't know what is, what is going on here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. Okay. That's just kind of funny. 
Oh, goodness. I was just having this conversation today. I was doing a, a live thrifting, live thrifting from the Dog Junkies thrift store. I hope you'll all go watch the replay of that. Tell me what you think. And it's also something I'm thinking of doing as a regular thing. So if you like that, please go take a look and leave me a comment over on that video replay. But um, we were talking about age and growing older and and I feel like I'm like, I'm in this like between 55 and 60 where it's just kind of like, meh, all right, I might as well get over to 60, like sooner than later. That's really pretty, but there's no way I'm shipping that. All right, and then we have small appliances, which is not really our thing. So we're gonna zip right on by that. Okay, we've got some pillows and linens. Mm, that one seems very, very personal. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you guys know what I'm doing with these, right? You know, Jordan has a wedding. Jordan has a wedding coming up and these, these are getting stuck somewhere. I don't know where, but if you know, you know. All right, who remembers this game? I don't know if this has any value. This is the Oregon Trail card game. You know, there's like, Kind of a big cultural thing with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up. So that'll go in my lookup pile as I decide whether I'm gonna get that or not. As I look at some of the other things on the shelf up here, boy, you have to look because there's like all kinds of different stuff. Hey boo, eat more candy. And then there was a big floofy turkey. I actually kind of like the big floofy turkey, got to tell you. Solid, $3.99. Mm, I don't need to be picking up turkeys right now. We got a ways to go before Thanksgiving. Oh, this is their games and such. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, there's more like little costume things. All right, nothing here. So this guy sells for about 10 bucks. So we're gonna put him back and let somebody else have him. See what we've got. Hiding back here. What are you? What are you? I mean, you're a latch hook rug, but what are you? Can anybody figure out what that is? Got this little section here. Those are sweet little magnolias, gardenias. For $2 each? Why do I like these so much? I'm grabbing them. And this is very intriguing with the Cardinal. So many people love Cardinals. He's really beautiful. For $2, we'll pick him up too. I actually have a creamer that matches this. It's got a Japanese marking on it, but I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm not gonna pick it up. Let's see who makes you. Laura Ashley. Not super high resale on Laura Ashley, sadly. That's a fun, fun little thing. Okay, I think I just found those few, few little things. So they've got piles of art in these little tubs here. And I'm, I'm not really into digging through these, although that, oh, oh. Can I get this? Oh. I mean, that looks like it could be old, and, but it's just, yeah. This is not my favorite way to buy art. Does that make me a little, what's the word? What's the word? I don't know. I would just rather somebody else dig through there and find the expensive stuff. I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm looking around. It's not a very big store. They don't have jewelry. And uh, I think that's probably gonna be a wrap for us. So stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
I've had lots of requests for an update on Goody. Goody was the mascot turtle that was part of the Good Stuff Thrift Store. She came in as a rescue, was supposed to be a tortoise, and turned out to be a turtle. So I quickly shifted gears and built a pond. And then uh, when I knew the store was closing, I moved the pond home. And there is a video of that over on the Niche Lady Critter Cam YouTube channel. Uh, but <laughs> so funny, these five goldfish in here were originally purchased as small feeders because I was told turtles like to eat goldfish. I have since learned it is not the best diet for them. Uh, but these little guys have just thrived and grown to the point I'm looking at this going, we need a bigger pond. Yes. Oh, are you going to come out and say hi? So there she is. She loves being outside and getting natural sunlight now. Uh, she's part shade, part sun. So she gets morning sun where she can climb up on one of her little, her little shelves, we call them. And she can just get some natural sunlight. And then she also has, ooh, there it is. She has some artificial sunlight. So when it's shady uh, during the day over here, she can still crawl up under that artificial light and, and get what she needs to get out of the water and dry off and bask. Bask is what they call it. You just want food, don't you? You are just waiting for breakfast. She also, I don't know if you can see it here, she has not one, but two heaters in this pond. There's one over there and there's one over here. And these are titanium heaters and they don't get like super hot to where they can burn her or anything, but she can also like hover over them if she wants to get a little extra warm, which she does sometimes. We had a very, very cold winter and uh, she spent some time hanging out by the heaters Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, you were so cute. Look at that nose. Look at that nose. Yeah, she is just waiting for me to put her breakfast in there. That, that is what she wants. So without further ado, let's make that happen. There we go. And she just ran away. She's kind of a chicken. She'll figure out that it's food, though, in a moment and come back out. But the goldfish also eat the turtle food. Goody, are you just going to play camera shy? Goody. Goody. Come back out. There you are. Yes, come get your breakfast, you silly. And then Eileen is hanging out in her very, very warm dog house. Let's, let's say good morning to her. Hello. Oh, you a sleepy girl. You just sleeping under your heater. What if I brought you a treat? We've had a lot of rain and she has not wanted to come out. But you can see she's quite cozy. It is 75 degrees in her nice heated dog house. Yes, it does need a little cleaning out because again, she has not come out of there. Uh, but she is definitely a happy, healthy girl. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's recognizing that we're out here. Oh goodness. I really need you. You should not, you should not be making such messes in there, Aileen. It does not make for good video. All right. She'll get a thorough cleaning out of her dog house today. Uh, but there's my pretty girl just hanging out under her heater and she is doing fabulous. She has free roam of this entire yard. And I tell my gardeners, do not mow the lawn. That is Eileen's job. And she does a really good, really good job of it. We also let all the dandelions grow. The desert tortoises are all in their habitats up there. They are still in what's called brumation, uh, which is the reptile form of hibernation. And they are going to be waking up probably in another, oh, six to eight weeks they get to sleep in.
So now I will come in and get the rest of my little animal chores done for the day. And uh, yeah, this is this is Pip squeaking behind me. And you can hear guinea pigs in the background. Everybody is waiting for breakfast. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.